Um, and then we will, we have to edit this to make this a little bit more friendly for our boards to come together. Um, so when I talk about a two by four or a two by six, face is the wide part or the, this is the face, this is the edge. Um, we can start by on each end, we need to draw each end of these. And if I, if I draw it on these, I want it to go on to all of the other two by sixes too, so that they're all the same. A really easy way to do that is to right click, and then go to edit component. That will bring up a box around the edge of it. So it's ready to, we can make adjustments to this component. So what you'll do is you'll go to pencil now, and then we're gonna, you, we can use the midpoint of it. We'll be doing a couple different things. The biggest thing we need to do is we need to make a line on the midpoint of this. We're going to be making a line so that we can, we're going to set it up to be joined with a, a two by four. So on, we're going to start on each end. We're going to draw in 1.75 inches and then hit enter. The reason we did that, and you see that it automatically changed on these other ones too, by, by adding that reason we did that is so that we're going to set this up so that this will be the midpoint of the 1.75 inches we're going to draw all the way around the edge of this now so we put a mark all the way along the edge on the end of the boards we're going to do this on both sides so there's the end point we're going to come down to the face on the side and then we're going to We'll maneuver this so we can look in the bottom just like this. Align all the way around the edge. And then back up to the center. Okay, hit escape. We can get rid of this line right here because we don't need it. So we're going to go to the arrow, make it turn blue. We can always add it back in if we need it, but I don't think we're going to need it. We need to do a line like that. We need to do a mark along, uh oh, I should have done the midpoint first. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. We gotta do the midpoint first. I made a mistake. So we're gonna come back here. That's my fault. Just not thinking through enough. So we're hover over top of the edge and when you find that blue dot, we're gonna get the midpoint drawn on here. And the only reason we're adding these on is so that we have way to find specific points to grab a hold of the board. It's the only reason why we're doing this is for the assembly process of it. We need to get that to be red. There we go. Now we need to rotate around like this. I'm using a mouse, by the way. $5 can save you a lot of time. What I mean by that is if you were to go to Walmart and spend $5 on a mouse, it would make it a lot easier for you to do some of this work. So we got our midpoint drawn. We should have did that first. And now we're going to draw the, what we just did on the end. So find a midpoint, draw on the face. It automatically locks in an inch and three quarter because we already we already wanted to do that already once before. And then we're going to come across to there. I'm going to come across to here. And I'm moving this I'm moving along pretty fast because I'm trying not to make it. So it's one thing you're gonna have to figure out is how to manipulate it to get it drawn all the way around it. Okay. It's gonna save us a lot of time in the end, I promise you. Which is why we're doing this. Because I've already I've already worked on drawing this once before. I'm gonna draw in it automatically locks in an inch and three quarter. You could type it in 1.75. I'm going to rotate around the edge so I can go to the other side. If you're using a mouse at home, a mouse pad without a mouse, all of the maneuvering around that we're doing, you just have to use two hands. So you'll, you'll click and hold when you're using the orbit tool on the bottom down here. You'll click on the orbit tool just like this. And to do the orbit that I just did, you'll click and hold, and then you'll use your other finger to manipulate 
to make it turn all the way around. And I'm going to go back to my pencil and finish drawing on this end right here, just like this. Just want to be in the red line, just like that. And now I just need to move to finish this one. And then we're going to hit escape. We're going to go to the arrow tool again to select that and hit delete. Now, we should, based off of what we just did, we should be able to start. We may have to manipulate or draw a little bit more, edit to the to that. You can get out of the edit by just clicking anywhere else on the screen. Okay. 